what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Oh hey guys, I didn't see you there. I was just cleaning up after the mess that Brent Rivera has made on this platform over the uh, last couple months. <laughs> hey Dark Mode, you gonna you gonna go after Brent Rivera, huh? <sighs> I was going for this epic gag of a dollar shine and now she looks fucking retarded. Hey guys, look at me, I'm Team Rocky, that's not a fucking spell. Team Retardo blasting off again. God damn it. I should've, I should've done it earlier, but now everyone's freaking made videos on Brent and how his hair is so fucked. Like, literally fucked. Like, look at those things. I bet he never combs his hair in a day in his life. Or the fact that he kisses his sister with an inbred. <laughs> Of course, these are questions we've all asked ourselves at one point about Brent Rivera. Uh, or the fact that, why is he such a whiny little pussy? Probably not as whiny as Vitaly, though. Joey Salas, you fucking disrespected my mother. You wanted to fuck her? You want to fuck her? Come and fuck her. I will cut off your fucking, shove it in your mouth, make you fucking chew on it, and I will fuck you too. You love me, you fucking fake fuck. But still, why is he a whiny pussy? But despite all of these bad qualities about Brent, he always makes me look towards life and makes me want to keep living. Not because of his content, that just makes me want to die. I want to die. It's because he's proof that you don't need morals, integrity, or any lack of I common to sense die. to get big on YouTube. Well, here's the thing. How about I give you guys a little bit of a... Brent Rivera content copy. Hey, that's pretty good. But, you know, I wish it wasn't me who had to do the content copy. I wish it was someone like old iDubs who could actually make it funny. And, you know, the old iDubs used to make content badge. So now I guess I just gotta do it because why not? So, uh, yeah, let's uh, get into it. So, about a year or two ago, little baby Brent was exposed for being this huge, ginormous asshole by Tyler. And basically in it, he basically just roasted Tyler for recording on his iPhone. No. And recording and roasting him for having less than 100 subscribers. Hey, uh, go have fun with your uh, 100 subscribers, bud. <laughs> Even though Tyler had a million back then. Weird roast, but okay, let's go with it, Brent. And uh, after that, a bunch of big YouTubers called him out on it. Called out, called him out for his disgusting actions of being this gigantic asshole who once he was insulted a little bit he just couldn't help but fall apart into this whiny little pussy. Brent Rivera got confronted in the real world and I'm using that word loosely because it wasn't really confronting. He got trolled in real life and just for some reason acted far stronger and more badass than he is. Like Bro, you make videos eating gum off of a child's shoe. Like, why are you going to try and pretend to be, like, this fucking man's man when met with controversy or uh, when met with conflict in the real world? So what he then decided to do was instead of, you know, reforming from these criticisms and apologizing, he did apologize. And as the night went on, he continued to approach us with his camera, saying awful things about me, my friends, and my sister to try and get a rise out of me for his video. But he apologized in a way that made it, um, so that he was the victim. He's the victim! He's an effing saint! Nothing was wrong! He was the victim! He, he is an effing saint! Like, subscribe, comment! But then people were like, no, 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 no. You, you're an asshole, alright? And then he decided to come out and, uh, 
copyright strike everyone's videos who were critical of him. Fred Rivera. What the f*** are you doing? Now you're sending me copyright strikes? Why are you 10 mil plus TikTokers such f***ing pussies? I don't know if you set the strike directly or your management did, but my videos are fair use. I didn't steal your content. I directly talked over it, thus making it my video. Fred, remove the f***ing strike. You don't want to be breaking the law now, do you? Or does your hurt little f***ing feelings feel bad? F***ing loser. What's that? A YouTuber is abusing the copyright system to take down videos that are critical of him? There was another instance of Brent doing this to a different creator. I forgot the creator's name. I think his, the creator's name was Dumpy or something. And Brent not only decided to copyright strike his video, but also decided to try and deplatform him off YouTube. All because he hurt Brent's little, oh, poor little baby feelings. Oh, boo hoo. And then there's all this mumbo jumbo. I'm going to censor this, even though I feel like I don't even have to. But basically, it just says if you lie and you misrepresent what actually happened, you can result in the termination of his YouTube channel. He literally signed that and did it anyways and blatantly lied. And I guarantee you there will be no repercussions for his actions. My live stream VOD was taken down for bullying and harassment, violating the bullying and harassment policy. And this whole entire thing just kind of irks me because I don't think I bullied and harassed Brent Rivera by making fun of him. But it's just hard to sit here and think like, oh yeah, only my content that's on Brent, only my content that's on you is getting taken down, getting falsely demonetized, falsely community guidelines struck. It's just hard to sit here and think to myself, Oh yeah, you know, it's all just a coincidence. I'm sure that I'm in the wrong. Uh, I just want to say right now, I don't know why he even did this, to be honest. Did he think that it was going to get him out of this hole that he dug himself into? Because he was just going to dig himself deeper. And like uh, Penguin Zero said... And now you look like an absolute fool and you've ruined your reputation even further, Brent. If such a thing was even possible. Somehow your audience of children are actually being aware of this now, which is the last thing I imagine you wanted to happen with the drama. You're just doing all of the wrong things here. You fucked up. You should have just moved on from it, apologized for it, and been done with it. You made a terrible response to this whole thing, trying to give context to it, where even in that you make yourself look stupid. Like, you just, you played this terribly. You played yourself and you looked dumb. Now that we've gotten through that rabbit hole, let's go through the next rabbit hole. Of Brent Rivera being a serial plagiarist. Just take a look at the intro of Drew's video and then the intro of Brent's video. This is Japan's cheapest capsule hotel, a first class sleeping pod, and a capsule bed in a library. And I'm gonna travel around Japan to stay at all of them and more for the next 100 hours. Starting with my first hotel, the- Alright, now let's take a look at Brent's. So we're in Tokyo, Japan, and for the next 100 hours, we're gonna be forced to stay in some of the most unique capsule hotels Japan has to offer. Let's do it. From robots that check you in, to capsules that watch your sleep patterns, there's even a sleeping pod that's hidden in a library. Okay, so what is a capsule hotel room? He basically bit it bar for bar. I mean, he took the entire script, he took all the same capsule hotels, and he made what is the same video. And basically, this whole plagiarist, um controversy really started when that Ludwig clip uh, came around but it really really kicked off in my opinion when Brent uploaded a video titled world's shortest woman and world's ta tallest man I can't forget the hat so the original was uploaded by Kelly Wakaska where he uploaded a video with the world's shortest woman only the world's shortest woman maybe Brent did Trent and not never mind Kelly also uploaded a video with the world's tallest man Brent just combined the thumbnails and videos into one. So basically how Kelly Wakaska's video goes is that he starts off by introducing her and then he gives her she get, he gives Jyoti some merch. World's shortest woman. Two feet. I brought you a gift. Hopefully it fits. If it doesn't, I will get you a new one. Okay? <laughs> that is too big, unfortunately. Next, he takes her out to eat to some place and asks her some little spicy questions. <laughs> you haven't even tried it. It's already good? Yes. Who is your celebrity crush? Then next, Kelly takes her to get some clothes and she does a nice little catwalk. Very nice. Let's see, spin, spin. Yeah, that's right. And finally, he takes her to an amusement park to have some nice, wholesome little fun. And he gives off this great little monologue at the end. She might be the world's smallest woman, but she definitely has the world's biggest heart. Now what I want you to do is take every time I said Kelly's name and replace it with Brent's, because Brent's video has the exact same thing. He does the exact same steps, 
literally down to a T. Jody, I'm Brent, relatable merch. That might be too big. You think it'll fit? He's just bigger than her. Who is your celebrity crush? Me. No, no. Me? no. me? You don't have to lie. It's okay. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Even copies the frickin' monologue at the end. But even though Giodi is the smallest woman in the world, she definitely has the biggest heart, and that's what matters. Brent, fuck you for doing that. How about that? <laughs> don't, actually. I want to see your paintbrush hair more. Oh, give me one second. <laughs> Brent has also stolen a bunch of ideas from short form content creators, which I don't even know why you would. Short form content is like the worst content on YouTube, so like why would you steal from that? It Honestly, all you need to do is just have a camera in front of you and not speak for like 30 seconds. That's really all the content you need on short form. You can just do whatever you want. You don't have to steal ideas to be unique on YouTube shorts. I've put together a little compilation of a bunch of stolen thumbnails and titles from Brent Rivera. So here you go. Also, don't question my song choice. Just listen and watch. Pull it out, stick it in your mouth, and I'll bust it in the back of ya. Swallow, bitch. There's people starving in Africa. Single every single day. Do it every single way. Make the single lady say. Brent, listen though, I'm willing to give you one last chance, alright? I mean, what's the worst that he could do? Sexualize his own sister for views? <laughs> Just imagine clickbaiting your younger sister having sex. You know what? I take back everything I said. You know what? I, I made a little song for you, Brent. Mm -mm, it goes something like this. You whip it out, stick it in her mouth, then you bust in the back of her. Swallow, sis, I got some content to make ya. Steal it every single day, do it every single way. Make your sister scream and say, oh, Brent. And if he was gay and they were over age, he'd make his fans say, oh, Brent.